It is face closing, and at the opening, you played the Sunset Terrace as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you quite like playing the Sunset Terrace? Um, it's quite a change for you. Well, yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. I mean, I don't know it's like a, at the rest of the other time of the, of the year. Actually, I did it for Coxie once this summer too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. It's because you, I guess it's a different sound to what you would normally play. Like when you're here for Revolution, you're in the inside terror. So of course, it's, I'm sure it's a different set to what you would normally play. Yeah, well, uh, normally I'll probably play a lot more kind of lighter, a bit more swingier. But but today, because I had one hour, um, and he, he, well, Ira Riso was kind of laying it out already. So I was like, you know what? Let's just go for it. <laughs> Can I say, I love watching you play. Oh really? You're such a little groover behind the deck. <laughs> you, you get this thing going, this like thing going with your feet. Because you can, you can tell if I'm actually enjoying playing, because I'm really, moving, really moving around. No, you were moving. It, yeah, yeah. You were moving, you yeah. were grooving. You need all the exercise I can get. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen, you've had a great year this year. You've um, came out five times for Revolution. Yeah. Um, we've been down here a few times filming you, and of course we caught up with you up at the villa with Carl. But you know what is it about Revolution? I mean, they just want to, you know, best you be the night of the DJ awards. There's something about the Revolution family that just gets stronger and stronger. Well, yeah. Well, I think it's it's exactly that. It's, yeah. It's family. It's it, it's considered. It's it's um. It's a bit of a cliche, but it's done for the right reasons. You're believing it too. Nobody really works. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Not, it's, not like, it's not like a gig. You know, it's a, literally a privilege. Sneaky and Coxie, my two DJ heroes. Like, they really are. I, mean, I know they're my mates and all that these days. They play for me in my club and we hang out and it's all like, all right, boys. But they're the boys, as far as I'm concerned. For, for, boys, for really yeah. different reasons. But um, So I've got to play back-to-back -back with Carl at my night in Liverpool, Circus, and then Sneak last week. So. Quite happy with that. Here are you doing all right, hanging out with your boys then, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, it's not too bad, I've worse days. <laughs> Space closing party that couldn't have gone any better. That was really, really amazing. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Space is, is um, one of the most established brands in, in clubbing, international clubbing. Um, and you know, I see this as a home base for Space. You know, it's one of the most important clubs in the world. The closing party is a phenomenon. You know, it only happens once a year. Uh, a lot of people come, especially for this. It is really a big thing. So I got to be honest, I was really nervous. Didn't know what to expect. Um, you you still get nervous? Yeah, man. Yeah. This is like, you know, playing the Champions League. Because it is the first time, I mean, as we know, that you've brought a new sound to space this year. You've brought trance to space. Yeah. And then to have a trance DJ, number one trans DJ in the world, to close the parking. It's different for them. It's different for the punters that come every year. I know, year. yeah. This is like a special moment, a celebration of life and, and space and, and Ibiza and, and everything. So yeah. this music goes beyond that, you know, it's bigger than that. It's yeah. bigger than me, it's bigger than, it's for the crowd. Bigger than Ben Hur. <laughs> Sorry? Bigger than Ben Hur, as they say. Yeah, bigger than Ben Hur. Look at who I've managed to capture in my little web. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Again, okay. It, do it doesn't seem like capturing you is such a such a feat anymore. But... No, I'm, I'm easy, you know, I'm really easy. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to see you because I haven't seen you all year. We were just saying that, you know, now that you're living here now and it's nice to live a slightly so like, more normal, yeah, normal life. Yeah, well, whatever normal is. Yeah, but well. After, after a heavy weekend of gigs and all the traveling, I like to, I actually, I end up at DC10 every Monday by default. Yep. But after okay. that, I, I kind of like stay in a little bit, you know, and try and try and keep, keep myself out of trouble. Keku's okay, been amazing. Yeah. Really impressed by the production, the whole sort of vibe. You know, actually, the the whole crew that is behind Kekuma, you know, they're all out and they're in the booth, and there's a real sort of uh, party community at that night. And you know, yep. it's a great crowd of.
people that really love music, which is an absolute pleasure to play for. When you haven't been here, where have you been traveling to? You know, Europe. I, I went to America in August to do a festival tour, and yep. you know, I've done about 50 there, yeah. festivals this summer all wow. over the world, and it's been insane. Someone who's traveling a lot, you look pretty fresh. Thank you. Good. That's a nice thing to say. <laughs> Closing. Normally we um, we rock on out to you out here in the uh, in the car park. with a change of plan this year. Tonight yeah. you're in the in the terrace. I mean I'm in the I'm in the terrace tonight, which I'm really happy about yeah. because good change. Well, it's the Kakuma room, so musically it really makes sense, and I really enjoy a lot of the other artists playing in that room. And uh, for me, it's a it's a quality lineup. So I'm really happy to be in there tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I managed to catch up with Carl after he's finished his awesome five and a half hour set. And we've managed to catch him here at Cafe Mambo. You, you, you won two awards at DJ Awards this year. It's 10 years of revolution. And then five and a half hours to close a club that signifies the closing of summer. I decided that I wanted to really close the space by doing the uh, inside terrace and start at 7 a.m. in the morning. And the thing is about starting at 7 a.m. in the morning, that space, is that that used to be the original time of the original After Hours Club on the island. So it was just kind of like wow. bringing it back a little bit to, to one of the reasons why I, why I perform there and do what I do and really give the essence of space that the closing it deserves. A lot of it is, is boundless energy and passion more than anything yeah. else and I just love it. If yeah. I didn't love it I wouldn't do it and, and that's the thing about it. It's got nothing to do with you know being number one DJ or number five or number ten money or anything. No. It's all to do with that I love what I do yeah. and, I, and, and long as I live I will always give as much as I possibly can based on the good times that I have within me to do what I, what I love doing and, uh, and for sure we'll be back next year. I've had one of the best times of my life right here on the island yeah. uh, at Space, uh, space based, yeah. on, based on what we've done. I don't think many uh, you know, outside promoters can, can basically say that they have a relationship with, with, the, with the clubs that they work with, like we have with Pepe at Space. And it's, and it's been uh, a, a, a relationship based on mutual respect for each other, and also the love and passion for the music and, and the hearts of soul for people that, that walk yeah. through the club and enjoy you know, Pepe's uh, vision of what people should have as a good time. And all I do really is to support that factor. More than anything else. A couple of buttons every day. Every <laughs> yeah, it's been a few discs. <laughs> yeah.